Nashville leaders say expanding the Music City brand by highlighting our city's rich history is working. News 4's Melanie Layden got an inside look at big numbers that are changing the game of Nashville's growth. Here at the Opryland Hotel, records were set the past two summers with the largest minority conventions that Nashville has ever seen. They weren't just record turnouts for the city, but for all of the organizations as a whole. Nashville has seen a rise in interest in major conventions from minority organizations, and that's strategic. The Nashville Convention and Visitors Corporation is putting diversity at the forefront of their planning for the city's growth and tourism. I mean, there's just so much here, so much history here. Um, Nashville was um, in the forefront of the civil rights movement. Um, Nashville has four historically black colleges and universities. We call them HBCUs. And so, you know, the African American community in particular has been really strong here. This promotional video was made to showcase the rich black history in Nashville and prove the city has much more to offer than just cowboy boots and honky tonks. Nashville welcomed three huge African-American conventions this summer, with one of them raking in the biggest turnout they've ever seen. We had uh, the um, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated here, and that was a record-breaking attendance. That's actually not their largest, and they had 8,000 people at Gaylord Opryland, which was really impress impressive because these groups, um, they meet in first-tier cities, and so we compete a lot against larger cities. And for Nashville to be a record breaker was, was made us proud. And they're not stopping there. The Nashville Convention and Visitors Corporation has their eye on many more multicultural conventions to come to Music City to help increase the diversity in tourism. In Nashville, I'm Melanie Layden, News 4.